Here's part three of Daniel McGowan's interview from Yokao 28. We dig deeper into Daniel's preparation at Pechi and D Gym in Bangkok and how sports science is becoming a big player in the training there. I tell you what, as, as far as gyms go there, um, obviously a great gym to be at. Yeah. Um, both in, in terms of the pedigree of the, the Muay Thai fighters and the coaching and like yeah. I say the promotions that's involved with those those guys as well. Yeah. Um, I was really surprised seeing some of the stuff you were doing online um, with the new gym set up yeah. and they're they're pushing that forwards aren't they? Yeah so I mean disco lights as well yeah, even. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot they're making it a lot more like appealing to like uh, well a lot more appealing to like more foreigners maybe coming in mm. but they're, they're not really that bothered about that they, they want fighters as well but they're making it more, um, they're going down the sports science route. And yeah. it's probably one of the first gyms in Thailand to to maybe do that. Like, I think there's a couple of other gyms that maybe Yong Hao Gym, I think, maybe yeah. done bits and bobs of it. But we had a sports science coach there who um, he actually worked with Cardiff City football team. And um, he studied here as well. So um, he, he had the heart rate monitors on. I saw that, yeah. yeah. So then he was basically saying that if the zone that we were in on the, on the screen, if it wasn't in the red zone, we weren't working hard enough. So we yeah. wanted he wanted us to reach that like limit where mm. he knew our, our heart had to work kind of. Yes. Yeah. And then then he was like um, detecting our like recovery time. Yes. To see how to, how quickly we were recovering. Um, and it was even like even little things like he was like he he was messaging Pan a lot, and he said um, in the fight give Daniel a lot more water, put water over his head because when when I was putting water over my head after the rounds my heart rate would go down, down. Yeah. so like little things like that like they like so and then i think they're getting a crossfit area like in the gym so it's like a lot more weights and like power power yeah. stuff like strength side i think that's all going to be there i noticed the heavy flooring coming in so i thought yeah. i couldn't see free weights at the moment but yeah that, that was all being built so i think yeah. i saw a video i think it's i think it's all in now right. so yeah they've got it all in this is, this is good that they're integrating all Yeah, that. and then even even downstairs they've got a spa, so it's got the ice bath, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> jacuzzis, saunas, steam room, it's got everything. So, and then they even give you fruit and stuff, drinks and like at, you're sitting down, so it's like it's proper good setup, really good. There, there's people kind of, like with the heart rate monitors, there's people actually kind of monitoring it but not really knowing what they're doing with it. Yeah. But it sounds like they're actually there, he's, using it yeah. correctly. And he's making us do a lot more sprints, so I mean, I ran a lot long distance in Thailand as well, but in the mornings, but in the afternoons, it wasn't a long run. It was um, a lot more sprints in or, or intervals. Yeah. And he, he was really cool. Up. And this he, is good. He yeah. speaks good English. So I speak like broken Thai, like little bits and bobs, but he could explain it really well to me as well. So it was perfect. Yeah, it was really good. One of the one of the draws I saw that you had uh, was on one of the live feeds um, was like a it was like a metronome kind of tempo drill. He lived in high knees. Yeah, the high knees. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, he, yeah. he done that was every session. Yeah, a lot of um, core work as well. Um, but yeah, it was it's like you have to do it to the beat. Match the beat. Yeah, yeah. And, and, then, got and then it got faster. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit like a beat a bleat test, but standing still. Marching. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah on, the, on the spot. But yeah, stuff like that. And that was after the. Pad work. Yeah, I noticed so that. Pad that work was kind of the finisher, wasn't oh, it? The pad work was horrendous. <laughs> it was horrendous. I've never trained like the some of the rounds I've done. Was, I don't know. I was saying to my dad and everyone back home. I don't know how I got through some of the sessions because that was. It was like some of it was just ridiculous. How how hard it was. Like. When you've got a heart rate monitor on, yeah. there's no hiding. Yeah, it's exactly. kind of once you know what the limits really are. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, so if you're not in that zone, he makes you like you've got the ten kicks to get your heart going, yeah. or whatever, and then so then your so heart good. goes up. So yeah, he was really good. It's, I mean, at the time I didn't really like it, obviously, but um, you feel the benefits. Oh of it, yeah, that's I feel this is the best I've ever felt ever. Like, yeah, so. it's really good. Part four with some fight footage is coming up next. Why not click on the link below and join the newsletter to get the rest of this interview series as each part is published and top tips that will make you a better fighter too.